Jaguar Cichlids and Tilapia Cichlids both in the same space. Better yet, farming Jaguar Cichlids just as how you would farm Tilapia Cichlids. Are Jaguar Cichlids edible? Can you actually consume it as how you would Tilapia Cichlids? Stay tuned for this video share as I delve a little more in that. So today we look at uh, Jaguar cichlids, right? And we look at tilapia cichlids. Now tilapia cichlids, you have over 100 different types of tilapia cichlids uh, found throughout the world, right? Uh, they range from uh, tilapia cichlids that grows uh, super large to ones that uh, probably grow probably about five to six um, inches in length. And they look really colorful. And in some areas, some regions, they are domesticated as pets within, um, I would say, a um, large aquarium. I would say mid-sized aquarium. All right. Now, you can actually farm tilapia cichlids as food fish. You know, fish that you actually process so that you, you know, you can sell it to the, the market, the commercial market as food. Uh, this food is normally seen in a, like a um, supermarket in the aisle where you have fish fillet. Uh, even burgers and some other, you know, delicacy that you might have, you know, fish ingredient like fish sticks, right? Uh, yeah, tilapia fish um, is good for that because especially the the males that are normally uh, thick in structure and has a lot of so-called muscles or meat. All right, so uh, let's look at jaguar cichlids now. <laughs> Jaguar cichlids are aggressive omnivores, right? They would snack on anything that actually can hold in it in its mouth, right? This includes even smaller jaguar cichlids. Now, this makes it really, really, really difficult for you to actually farm jaguar, jaguar cichlids as a uh, food fish because practically, although they grow an average of 12 to 17 inches, right? Yeah, man, super large right they are not seen as one of those go-to uh food fish that you would actually farm because of its ag level of aggression right um in my pond that you are looking at right i have it's overstocked yeah it's it's, it's it has a too much fish within that space however um i will be dealing with some of that for in, in, in a short bit right um but you could not have so many jaguar cichlids uh, within that space, I mean, they would, they will be like, it will be tearing up the place, right? They will be fighting. It will be very, very difficult to contain their aggression, right? On the other hand, tilapia cichlids, they just um, become aggressive whenever it comes on to spawning. Uh, you know, you know, finding me finding that space in which they would spawn. That's the only time that they would show extra aggression in comparison to the jaguar cichlid that is always on the hunt on the prowl and you know going for that next kill right they love um live food live uh food within the aquarium space or within you know the water space now uh the jaguar cichlid that i'm actually showing you right now uh that jaguar cichlid i got it in uh waterway uh within my in my local right and um that fish it, it took some months yeah some months for it to be weaned of live food i mean like insects and and and, and small toads and and other things that might come to the pond um it would actually you know consume them right and as a result of uh you know it liking live food it, it, it took me a while to actually get it to start to consume um, dried prepared food, right? So now I think it's already weaned and I think um, I can probably get the aquarium for it right now to keep indoors. Now, and that, and this is one of the reasons why I had to um, keep it outside in a pond uh, so that when the insects come by, they, it will actually catch the insect and actually get a fill.
right because no matter how much i would actually place feed within the space um it would just would not eat now i'm seeing it it's eating very regularly and you know it's 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 okay as far as health weight and you know it actually um consuming on a regular basis right jaguar cichlids are difficult to farm as fish food and um it's more like it's more like a loner because even when you have a pair a male and a female after spawning and the fries have, have hatched it would well after spawning right i would advise the i would advise the the, the owner of that jaguar, jaguar, jaguar cichlid to actually remove the male and place it into a different space and allow the female to stay with the fries swimming because the jaguar cichlid uh the male is so aggressive it will actually um consume all the fries and then when it's finished with all that then it will actually um kill the female right uh right now i i have only one huge male jaguar cichlid and that's probably um a, a, a headache for me right now you could say that's a headache for me right now right primarily because um i don't have any females i'm gonna have to wait until uh one of the females um that um you know i had some ju i have some juveniles and i think a few of them are females i'm gonna have to now grow them in separate spaces i wait for the female um features to actually show and where where um you know appropriate i would actually place the female within that space right um jaguar sixes are really aggressive uh it is it is used um within jamaica as a gaming fish um persons actually you know dive um in rivers uh, with the spear guns and they actually yeah, hunt it um as game right so that's that's as far as the whole idea of 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 human interaction with that fish um that i think that's the furthest that it goes um in jamaica itself now uh someone asked me a few months ago with the on jaguar sickly that i have actually collected from uh nearby waterway if it actually originated um in that waterway and i suggested yes and the person su was suggesting that this um jaguar sickly is not a native uh, not not a native of jamaica so therefore um it it, it is more than likely somebody actually placed it there well news for you um this fish is found through the entire um natural water space that is through jamaica um from montego bay and clarinon manchester all over the place but the thing about these fish is that they are loners so you'll only see like a male or a female and whenever it's spawning time you'll see them come together and then they'll disappear and then they're so they're always there in the dark lurking uh for um the opportunity to, to actually catch and kill something right i i it is hope that this video was of um value to you